Caroline in 30 seconds. Okay, are you ready? Okay, go. Well, I think the speech prompt says I'm still searching for my virginity. So, I mean, which is kind of the title of the keynote, and I know we're going to be talking about that today. Yeah. So, in terms of who am I, um, I think the, the the question is 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 really the work that I do. So, I would kind of frame it in that context, in terms of helping people just show up with greater levels of courage, clarity, okay. and confidence in their work today, so that we can build like really entrepreneurial, vibey cultures to deal with the pace of change that we're experiencing. How did that become your passion? Like, What happened to spark that or ignite that passion within you? Um, you know, I think what um, the, 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 the big thing for me was uh, having been really good at strategy and doing things and getting things done, mm. I couldn't do those things for myself. Yeah. It, so and and every organisation that I work with, I find that's the same in their business too. Yeah, is that people are struggling with, you know, I I think of it in terms of you know as human beings we're operating on this um, with the equivalent of a MS DOS platform. <laughs> we're not built for the kind of speed of life and the pace of change that we're experiencing today. Yeah, and we need the upgrade to Windows 10. <laughs> so it's um, so. What really it, it was, you know, and we only really find out that we need the upgrade when the system starts to crash. Mm -hmm. So when my system kind of hit the wall, when I, and I talk about that, in, I talk about the whole burnout experience. It really, really made me think that I've got to do something differently. Yeah. And 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 this last 15 years, I suppose, has been a journey of figuring out how to do that and refining that and making that better. Um, and the speaking has really just come about as a way of being able to share that message yeah. um, with a lot of the work that I've been doing over the last 15 years. So you've been speaking about burnout and a lot of people, they, they kind of know I think what burnout is but they don't really know, you know what the signs are or how to detect it. So what is burnout? How do you recognize it? There's different stages of burnout um, and you know from being People say we feel a little bit stressed, I must be burnt out, yeah. to full-scale collapse and illness. So there's a large scale you mm. know, when, it, when, when it comes to that. But I think you know, what I'm trying to get to in finding my virginity is a, lo is, 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 is a lot more than that. Mm. It's about how do we avoid doing that by changing the internal operating system. Okay, so how changing it before we get to that stage exactly. of Exactly. It's mastering this very, very delicate balance between burning out and standing out. Yeah. Um, we don't want to get to that point. Yes. We want to be able to kind of manage it in the middle. And it's more than just managing it individually. It is about how do we create the business culture mm -hmm. around that. Mm -hmm. And culture isn't something that happens out there. Every single one of us has a responsibility for that. Yes. You know, so if we're standing there whinging by the coffee machine about stuff that we don't like, we're contributing to that culture. Mm -hmm. So business for me is simply just a network of conversations and relationships. Yeah. Everything that we do gets done through another human being. You know, just being here today required me to coordinate with, with you, with yes. Cameron, um, to get things done. Everything we do is done through another human being. So no matter how brilliant your strategy is, or what you're kind of bringing into the world, the human component is essential in that. Mm. So my whole way of working is, 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 is to unleash that potential by rewiring how we're showing up as a So tell me more about your keynote thing. Um, the title is Finding My Virginity. Finding My Virginity, <laughs> yeah. Still <laughs> searching, which is what this is about now, still <laughs> searching, yeah. Yeah, so tell me more about that thing. So, um, the keynote is, is really, I think, speaks to a lot of what I've just talked about yes. here. Talked about here. Um, it was sparked by this incredible experience that I had in terms of working with Virgin. Um, and it was, and, and, and really what I've seen in my last 15 years of consulting with organizations, in terms of what it takes for leaders to show up yeah. authentically. Mm -hmm. And that means doing things like, um, so I talk about, um, in, in the keynote, I talk about the concept of being wired for dealing with the world we're living in today. And wired is an acronym. Mm -hmm. um, and it talk, we talk, I talk about, it's not just about what you want to achieve in life, because we think about, we want the big house, the corner office, yeah. the holiday home in Cape Town. But when it comes to kind of working with other people, it's about, well, who do I want to be in the process? Yeah. Do I really want to be an ass, <laughs> Or do I want to show up differently? Because again, you know, I'm not going to, 
we may have a great strategy, but if my interactions with somebody are really one of being command and control and dictatorial, mm. all I'm doing is closing down the, the, the brain and the nervous system of the people that I'm working with yeah. so that their thinking becomes smaller. I mean, so there's a lot of research that kind of proves that. Yeah. So how am I showing up? And what are the qualities that I want to bring to my role? And, mm. and, and why am I doing this? You know, why, why, why do I get out of bed every morning? Yeah. Um, that experience for me was I worked for one of the best brands in the world, but um, people don't get inspired by somebody who works for one of the best brands in the world. They get inspired by you as a person. Yeah. So how are you authentically showing up? What drives you every single day to get out of bed? And that for me was the real it was a real key thing. And when I hit the wall, I didn't really know that. I was yeah. like a stick of rock with virgin stamped through it. You know, yeah. I was like all about the brand and. Branson and and um, so I was great at what I did, but I wasn't particularly inspiring, you know, in terms of why was I doing this. I had to really go and figure and um, figure that out. Yeah. So that's a story that I share in in in, in the keynote mm. because I talk about you know when um, I, I I turned I, I think it was in the end I turned down five jobs three three mm. one in New York one in Hong Kong one in Shanghai and two board positions here to really kind of go and because because my my whole journey was really well, how can I lead authentically when I haven't got a clue who I am? Yeah. So part of the keynote is talking about that real leadership, I think, starts with self-leadership. Right. Yeah, rather than, rather than, yeah, you're this wonderful person, everybody puts on this pedestal, so what? Yes. Who are you as a human being? Right. And how do you bring that to what that it is that you do? So that's one of the things that I talk about. Um, I also talk about um, innovation. Um, we think innovation is about... Uh, coming up with ideas yes. and finding new things and new ways of doing things. For me, that's, that's not innovation, it's invention. Innovation is about how do we get other people to buy into our ideas and ways of working so that we can adopt them, adopt mm -hmm. things and change things. So it's great having an idea. I mean, you, we can probably have 50 ideas before breakfast. Yeah. But if nobody's listening to us, in it's terms of, it's, it's just an idea. It never gets off the starting block. So then you come down to how do we re relate and how do we, um, how do we relate and create together to bring about new things every single day mm -hmm. in the environment that we're working in. And that means um, taking more risks. Um, so it's learning when to intuitively break the rules. Yeah. And that was one of the great things in Virgin's culture was that there were few rules. So mm -hmm. you had more latitude and flexibility, but you needed to have a lot of courage yes. to be able to take those to take those risks. Today, what we've done in business is we've tied everything down in rules and manuals and policies and systems, and um, because we, that brings certainty. Yeah. But we've got to start stepping into uncertainty by learning to break those rules. And so, intuitively knowing when to do that is is is, is kind of key. Yeah. Rules have a ri have a purpose. But have we tied ourselves up in knots? Yes. And so to be uh, to take risks and to step into uncertainty, you need courage. Um, and for me, courage and confidence are not personality traits; they're skills that you can learn. Mm -hmm. So um, I talk a little bit about that too. I like that because a lot of people feel like you need to be born into into being courageous. Yeah. yeah. But you're saying that that can be taught. You only get courageous by taking little tiny courageous steps. Yes. <laughs> um, and that could be um, you know, going to ask your boss for a raise, or it could be kind of going to a colleague that you're having conflict with and sorting something out. Mm -hmm. Because when we go home, what's the thing that's playing out in our mind again and again and again? It's the way that the boss spoke to us. Yeah. It's, the, it's the argument that we've had with our colleague. Mm -hmm. And that will determine how motivated we are to the future. Um, you can't be motivated and inspired when you're feeling pissed off yes. and resentful about the way that you've been treated or the way that a situation has unfolded. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, great, we've got technology which helps us communicate, but how do we have that conversation that resolves that issue so that my energy is, in th is, is enthused again, if you like. Yeah. So it's those little things that really kind of make a, a big difference. So risk-taking isn't about leaping off of mountains which, or jumping out of balloons, which um, I used to do a lot of, not jumping out of balloons, but <laughs> leaping out of mountains and yeah. four by fouring and scuba diving just to get that, that, that okay. flow state yeah. kind of going. It's not about that. It's the little stuff that we do so that we can be comfortable with ourselves.